Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about quick charging. In this first part of the video, I'll cover the general setup you need for a successful quick charge. And in the later parts of the video, I'll cover different types of QCs, what to look out for, what to pay attention to, what's important, what's not important, and so on. So yeah, first, let's look at my build. I'm going to be using a 232% strength build for every clip in this video. So this build will never change. I run sprint boost. So this is basically just your typical solo build. Obviously on the Zenith, we run Amalgam Serration for 25% sprint speed. And we also run in the Railjack Intrinsics piloting rank eight uh, for the 20% arcing speed. And this is what an or this combination rather is what enables us to actually reach the lock pin in time to set, get the first set of arms to spawn. On higher strength builds, this is obviously less important. So if you don't have one of these things, either the rank eight intrinsic or the amalgam serration maxed, um, I would highly recommend running higher strength builds, but then I would probably not recommend soloing. So yeah, that's the setup done we don't really need anything more so next i'm gonna talk about my lock pin setup so let's hop onto the planes for the first time i have two lock pins one is a blink lock pin that i mostly use myself this white one and then this one is the actual qc lock pin the one that i stop at this is not a guide on how to make this lock pin this is just what i do um, the position of this lock pin is also not hugely important. It should be roughly 10 to 15 meters above these trees, height-wise, and then somewhere between here and here, maybe. So you want to go between the trees, go 10 to 15 meters above, and then just want to either from here to here. So you, you have this, this whole area, basically, where I'm flying around right now to put this pin. It doesn't really matter if you do the QC right. And this blink pin is just something I made for myself to, I don't know, just introduce some more consistency into it. Um, I don't really need this. It's more of a fun little thing I made when I was bored. But yeah, I made it, I basically just put it right above this Cetus mission camp bounty thing. So yeah, if you if you want to copy that, feel free. But you don't definitely don't have to, and it only just basically makes me not have to think when I QC at all. Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics, um, let's take a look at the first QC we're going to do, which is a 2 plus 1 QC. So whenever we jump out, we instantly want to cast speed, obviously, and go arcwing. And as soon as I hit the white block pin, I blink, and then I get bombs on the camp. So let's hack the lure. Because the easiest QC, if you're not in a four-man squad, is taking the two bombs at the camp, landing at the Eidolon, buffing yourself, and then just waiting. We cast our VS, we take the shield, and now we just wait for this bomb to spawn, we crack it, we absorb it, and then we have the lure charged. This is the easiest type of QC, especially for solo runs, and this is what people would generally call a 2 plus 1 QC. Okay, now that we've looked at the 2 plus 1 QC, let's take a look at a 2 plus 2 QC next. This is 4 seconds faster than the 2 plus 1 QC on every run, because we do not have to wait for that bomb to spawn beneath the terrorists. Um, but it's also a lot more execution heavy, so if you're a beginner, I would not recommend doing this. So I'll try to rapid fire commentate as as best I can. So yeah, speed, arc wing, blink, zenith disc, shoot, hack lure, suck, kill bombs, suck again, kill the rest of the camp, force the bombs on shrine as fast as you can. There they are. I'm just blind. Recast speed, fly to the terrorist, overstrip it. Shield, VS, proper proper rap plug, and boom, limit that. So yeah, this 
order of events saves us four seconds. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much 2 plus 2 QC in a nutshell. So now let's talk about some of the things we got to pay attention to when QCing. So let's load into plants. And yeah, so we instantly cast Speed and Go Arcwing. And blink. And then you can see we get bombs instantly because we reached lock pin before six seconds ended. And we blink past the spawn points because we didn't blink too early. This is why I have this lock pin because if you blink before this, then there's a chance, and the chance is pretty high, that you won't get bombs on the camp, but you rather spawn them in either here or here. And this is the main reason why the slot pin exists for me. It's just so I don't really have to think a lot. And yeah, this is basically all you need to pay attention to for the start. The second thing, obviously, for 2 plus 2-ing is killing all the enemies on the camp. If you don't kill every enemy on the camp except this turret, the turret does not matter, then you will never get bombs on Shrine, or at least you won't get them until the significantly later space. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is how to use Dispatch Overdrive for the people that don't know what Dispatch Overdrive is. It's a melee mod that we run on our vast lock that gives us 60% movement speed for 15 seconds if we hit something with a heavy attack. 60% um, movement speed in Arcwing that gets multiplied by volt speed is insanely, insanely fast. So let's see how we do it. First of all, we're going to do our normal QC. So just suck everything in a few times. Kill the ROMs, kill all the enemies. Don't get knocked out of Arcwing, ideally. Spawn in some bombs. And then just cast speed and heavy slam. And now you can see in the top we have our dispatch overdrive, and you can see how fast we are now. You don't need to heavy slam if you don't like doing it. I just like doing it. You can also just land, cast speed, and then heavy attack, and then go back into Arcwing. You have the time for it, so it's not the end of the world. And then you can just zoom across planes at insane speeds. Don't forget, this is a low strength build as well. So if you're playing in duo, you're going to be a lot faster. Um, so yeah, that's Dispatch Overdrive in a nutshell. I'm also going to include a clip of a duo QC where I use it on lock um, at the end of this video, just so you can see it. And I might include a clip of a four-man QC as well, just for, um, just why not, you know, just to have everything in here. Although it's obviously very simple, just fly to camp, kill three bombs, and that's it. So yeah, if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments, check out the Eidolon wiki, or ask in the Discord. And yeah, good luck in your hunts.